awful thankful to be here this morning. Thankful that these brothers and sisters were able to make it out here safe. Yep. I'm going to pray to God that you're able to make it back home just as safe as you made it here. Yep. Sing a song here, and I might be able to preach a word or two, and then I'm gonna get out of the way and let you do what you guys are here for. Just a little better. 
you know, I haven't been in this thing very long, and let me tell you, brother, it don't get easier. Uh, uh, you know, coming out to the church every Sunday, uh, uh, being a new preacher, coming out to a church where nobody's attending because we're just starting out and nobody knows who we are. Uh, uh, listen, uh, you know, uh, the crazy yeah. kind of people that they may think we are uh, coming out to an empty church, uh, traveling uh, nine, ten hours away to go to another church. Uh, how crazy they must think we are. Uh, it's just like last Sunday when Brother Brian was talking about he was out on the plane there uh, going to meet Josh in Lexington. And, and you know, uh, uh, he was talking to these ladies, I believe he said they were going to a wedding. You know, and they asked him where he was going, and he said, I'm going out to church. And they thought he was awful crazy. And you know, that's the way my Lord works today. Yeah. There's so many times when I was a younger man, I was a little wild, and I didn't really believe too much in all this. But you know, it's. It's funny how my Lord works this morning. Yep. Yep, He knows. Yep. Bless the Lord. You know, I often think about where I would be if I didn't have my Lord. Yep. I often think about all the times, brother, yeah. that uh, all the times that I wait yeah. uh, out of my mind uh, and probably shouldn't have woke up the next morning. All the times in my life have been spared when I should be dead. Uh, yep. And times when my soul uh, will go to a devil's hell. Uh, you know the way that I was living my life. Uh, but let me tell you, my Lord, I believe uh, with everything in me that my Lord will put people in your life. Uh, uh, he'll put things in your way to lead you to him. Uh, let me tell you, brother, it's up to them. Uh, it's up to everyone to decide. Uh, if that's where they're going to go, uh, uh, there's only two paths you can go by. Uh, listen, uh, and you know, uh, I believe with everything in me that I've chosen the right path. Uh, you know, brother, and I, uh, there's people uh, that come out to the church and they say they believe, uh, and you know that's good. Uh, but you know those people that say they believe, they don't give their self to my Lord. Uh, let me tell you today, that's like swimming, or that's like being out in the water knowing how to swim, but just choosing to drown. Uh, that's all it is there. Uh, and you know, uh, uh, that reminds me of a story there in the Bible there. Uh, you know, when Peter, uh, they were out on that boat right after my Lord yeah. had fed those uh, uh, those many people there. Uh, and you know, they're out uh, and they see something coming out at them. Uh, and they get scared, brother. They thought it was this spirit coming after them and they yeah. cried yeah. out. Uh, uh, but it was my yeah. Lord. Uh, he told them, uh, uh, don't be scared. Uh, it was Jesus coming out there. Uh, and you know, uh, uh, Peter there, uh, he said, Lord, uh, if it be you, let me come out to you there, uh, uh, you know, uh, and he started to walk out there to my Lord, uh, but you know, uh, when the fear set in on him of those waves, uh, when the fear set in on him of all that was surrounding there, uh, you know, he began to sing. Uh, and my Lord grabbed him there it was because of uh, uh, he took his eyes off of what yeah. was important and you know uh, yeah. whether you're in the church whether you're not in the church whether you're saved or not, uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, uh, we can fight and bicker. Uh, uh, we can split hairs with one another. Uh, but that's what I don't understand this morning, how so many churches uh, uh, can't correspond with one another because they have a few little differences. Uh, uh, the only thing that matters to me, brethren, and I'm just a young man, I really may not know a whole lot about it. Uh, but let me tell you, the only thing that matters to me is my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I I don't really care uh, if you uh, think a scripture means something uh, that I don't think it means. Uh, you know, I'm going to go through my life. Uh, uh, growing up as a boy, uh, I was in the old regular Baptist. Uh, I would go there all the time. My grandfather and my uncles... Uh, uh, preachers out there in the old regular Baptist. But you know, brother, they'll never get to hear me preach. Uh, they'll never get to hear me sing uh, because they're not allowed uh, to go to 
church with me. Uh, and you know uh, what a shame that is, brother. And I, but let me tell you, that's just the way they believe. I don't hold it against them. Uh, but you know there's going to be a day... Uh, uh, when we're all going to the same place, uh, yeah. and listen, my Lord, uh, I don't think he has a denomination up there. Uh, I hope not. I doubt about the enemy. Let me tell you, not, tell you this morning, I'm not worthy uh, to go to that place, brother, but I'm going. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. hopping aboard yeah. that train uh, with that ticket to salvation, brother. It's already been paid for me. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Listen, yeah. when they drove yeah. those nails through my Lord's hands, uh, Brother, it was my sins, uh, not even born yet, that was driving those nails in. Uh, when they placed uh, that crown of thorns upon his head, uh, it was my sins that was pushing it down yeah. on him, brother. Uh, not even born yet. Uh, well, let me tell you, he had something. Uh, he had a reason for coming and dying for us. Uh, uh, listen, a little over 2,000 years ago, uh, or close to 2,000, a little boy was born. Uh, uh, when I was born, uh, he knew back then uh, he had me on his mind. He had you on his mind. Uh, uh, let me tell you this morning, uh, uh, when the waves, uh, when we start to sink, some of us may sink. I sink all the time. Uh, I don't think there's ever a time where I stay afloat. Uh, but let me tell you, I can look to my Lord, uh, and he yeah. grabs me and Pulls me up uh, uh, because let me tell you this morning, no matter how big the waves get uh, over your head, uh, brother, they're below his feet. Uh, he holds everything in the palm of his hands. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I'm so unworthy of so unworthy of all the things he's done for me. But you know, I can remember. First coming to the church, and I said this before. I got, I came down with a a sickness, I guess you could say. I, I guess you can call it a mental thing. I don't know. Every time a preacher would sit, uh, when he get up and speak, no matter what he said, he was talking about me. Yeah, that's right. I remember that too. <laughs> you know. And, yeah. It was funny to me because I was a very proud young man. For some reason, every time I would hear the name Jesus, it was like somebody was stabbing me in the heart. And being a boy who didn't believe, that really touched me. Because not believing in something and then every time you hear about it, it just rips you apart. There's got to be something to it. I wouldn't open up my heart for nothing. <coughs> but there was a day, listen, there was a day when my heart just busted open and it was filled, uh, it filled with something uh, that I wasn't used to uh, and that was love. Uh, let me tell you, I'm going through this life a lot different now than what I used to. Uh, uh, there's so much love abundant in me. Uh, I run that I would have never thought uh, I would have had. Uh, uh, listen, you know, uh, I was saying uh, the Lord to put people in your life. Uh, uh, the Lord's been working with me a long time. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that's been in my life uh, that I don't deserve. Uh, that I'm really not good enough to or the way I should be. Uh, uh, listen, and you know I take so many things for granted. Uh, uh, you know, being a wild young man, my Lord, uh, uh, he sent a family down from Michigan to Kentucky. Uh, and you know I married their daughter there. Uh, and you know that was the first step. Uh, uh, marrying a girl who said the only way she'll give me the time of day uh, is if I go out to church with her on Sundays. Uh, and you know I was thinking to myself, well, that's fine. I've sit there many of those services they don't last real long uh, and you know uh, I started going through those things there uh, all the heartbreak uh, all the nights where I couldn't sleep uh, uh, the nights when I did sleep yeah. before I would go I would pray just don't let me die today and uh, let me wake up in the morning uh, and I'll serve you but how many times I kept pushing that away Listen, and you know I'll tell this and I'll get out of the way. Uh, you know, growing up in East Kentucky there, uh, there's not much around. Uh, it's all coal mines or you don't have a job at all. 
you know, and I worked underground there about seven miles underneath the ground. Uh, took me about 45 minutes to get to where I worked at every day. Uh, you know, and I was sitting there one day, and there's a phone line that runs throughout that mines, uh, so we can communicate with each other every so often. Uh, and you know, I worked at this one station. I was there by myself, uh, and I had a phone right there, and I could hear, uh, I could hear everything that was being said throughout the mines. Uh, and you know, I could hear somebody hollering one day, and I was out there shoveling and cleaning up something. Uh, I heard somebody hollering, so I went over and I picked up the phone and was just listening there. I, it was happening uh, about a about a football field away from me, uh, uh, right on down that little path. Uh, uh, listen, there was a man back there in the mines, a, a surveyor that had came in, uh, and he was back there in the face of that mines and a rock uh, had came out of the top of that mines there. Uh, fell down and cut him in the back of the neck uh, and it seemed pretty severe from what I was hearing uh, and you know um, uh, that was the first time uh, that I realized that I was working in a coal mines uh, that was the first time that I realized I had a ton uh, a couple ton uh, a little more than that of rock above my head uh, that had no promise of staying above me uh, and you know it's the first time I don't even know what else was said on that phone uh, but I fell to my knees there and I said Lord God uh, uh, listen it's yeah. that boy there it's that little sinner boy again uh, uh, you let me out this time and I really do promise you uh, that's the next thing I'm going to do uh, uh, listen you know I went out to the church uh, let me tell you uh, uh, there was a man there, and I heard Chris talking about it earlier. Uh, if you could have uh, and just help some, just one person come to the Lord, uh, your life will be worth it. Uh, you know, I was sitting up in that church all the time, just a blank stare, uh, not letting nobody see that the Lord was tearing me apart. Uh, you know, I'd sit up there every day, and we had a visitor come there to Pilgrim's Prayer. Uh, uh, he's no longer... Uh, with us today but you can see back on the wall this picture there uh, his yeah. name was Barry Tiller uh, and you know I never met the man before didn't know his name but he came into the church there uh, uh, listen uh, and I've been sitting up there for so long the man had seen me one time and then after church that day he called Chris uh, and asked uh, who was that boy sitting up front uh, wanted to know who I was uh, and told brother Chris there uh, uh, what is that boy waiting on? Uh, uh, how in the world uh, uh, could this man see that I was broken hearted? Uh, and you know I kept praying, uh, Lord give me a witness, uh, uh, give me something, uh, let me know that this is what I'm supposed to do. Uh, and how many times, uh, uh, if you keep your eyes open, if you're seeking the day, uh, you keep your eyes open, uh, the Lord's going to let you know. Uh, well, let me tell you, don't go through this life because you don't know if you're going to make it home today. Uh, you don't know uh, if you're going to take your next breath. Uh, listen to me. I know what it's like to be sinking. But let me tell you, when I first found the Lord and I was coming to the Lord, I have a lot of friends and I still have a lot of friends that are caught up in the things that I used to be and I had one friend in particular his name was Isaac and we were really good friends we've done a lot of bad things together there's a lot of pleasure in sin you know I come home from that coal mines one day my wife's sitting out on the porch waiting to greet me and I could tell something was wrong when I came home there and she had told me Shad Isaac died last night. They found him this morning. Too much drugs and too much, too many things going on that we used to be into. The, and just that old sin, that sin will it'll take you out of this world. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And you know, I can remember being at his funeral there. The casket was closed that day and all of us there, the younger kids, uh, all his friends, we were signing the top of his casket. And you know, me and Isaac used to sit together all the time talking to each other saying, when we going to grow up? When we going to turn this stuff over? 
Is that ever going to come? And I can remember looking down on his casket. He brothers, get you some. I remember looking down on his casket there and saying to myself, Isaac, brother, I found a way. And his name is Jesus. I wish I, that I could tell you all about him. But I've let too much time go by. You know, it's not the first time that I've let... Uh, let things slip away, but let me tell you, after that moment, uh, yeah. you know I've let a lot of things go by, and i pushed a lot of things off, but one thing I'm never going to push off again uh, is telling my friends and my family about my Lord, because uh, right. there's no guarantee that I'm going to see any of you tomorrow, uh, and if I don't... Uh, if I don't see my children yeah. tomorrow, if I don't see them uh, here in a month, if yeah. I leave this world, uh, they're going to know the day. Uh, uh, there's a place they can go where they can see me again. Uh, I want my friends to know uh, if you really love me and love to be around me, uh, when I leave this world, I'm going to a place uh, and you can go to. Uh, uh, let me tell you, there's a way in His name is Jesus. Uh, uh, there's a way, and it's what he paid for, salvation. Uh, uh, why are you uh, going to go through this life without my Lord? Uh, uh, Brian, uh, go ahead and sing your song. Go ahead, Brian. I love you this morning. One day as I... That's the love that the Lord puts in you. It don't matter who you meet in this world, and I don't care what denomination. 